Metro booming, want some more, nigga. So today I'm going to attempt to show you guys the best way to sample in FL Studio. Now there are three primary ways to sample in FL Studio. One of those ways is SliceX with its confusing ass buttons and whatever. Another way is just simply dragging the sample onto here and just slicing it and stretching it right here. And the third way is using Fruity Slicer. Now my go-to is Fruity Slicer and I'm going to show you guys why. My first reason is that like it's super simple. There are only like four to five knobs that you should be aware of and then you should be using. Compared to SliceX that it look, just looks like that, like I, don't, I just don't want to use it. And Fruity Slicer has everything I need. Like I promise you guys it's just the way to go. All right, so I'll show you guys an example. So I cut out a part of a sample I like. And I'm just going to drop it in Fruity Slicer like so. All right, so now the sample is in Fruity Slicer, but when you throw things in Fruity Slicer, it, like these things get messed up. So what you need to do is just make sure you reset all of them. And now if you notice your slices don't look like they're on beat, but you could fix this like super easily. All you have to do is make sure it's on like a 4, 8, or 12, and then come over here and then click beat. Now your sample should be on beat. And this is how the sample sounds as of now. And all right, and if you guys listen closely, you hear like a little popping sound. And to get rid of this, you just turn up the attack and you're chilling. So now with no popping, it sounds like this. So now we basically can do whatever we want to it. We can chop it up in different times. You could pitch it down a few different ways. You could just come into here and pitch it down like this. Or you can manually pitch it with this knob right here. Another thing you could do is like stretch it and it's kind of like degrading the sample rate, like kind of making it shittier, but sometimes it sounds better. So like this. There's just so many things you could do with Fruity Slicer. Like you just have so much control over your samples, unlike SliceX and its confusing ass buttons. So I'm going to show you guys a few different ways you can use Fruity Slicer. So you could also get like a little bit more soulful, more like a Jay Dilla type style. And you can also tone into your darker side, more of a Wonder Girl Eastbound type sound. And you guys know I love that type of shit. So here's another sample I kind of made sound more like them. That's basically all I have for today. Hopefully I convince you guys to maybe use Fruity Slicer. I would really recommend it. It'll take your sample game to the next level, like I promise you. And if you guys enjoyed this video, as always, a like, subscribe. Let me know what I should make next. And thanks for watching.